guys welcome back to fantasy star part 12 last episode you may be wondering well where's tylong well he died he apparently got stomped on by mammoths on the planet desolus so um we have to go to the church and revive him now which is a bit of a pain because we're gonna have to pay it's not that much though but anyway please bring tylong back to us what the heck does that say? The game just threw a bunch of gibberish at me, but... Well, we, uh, we have him back in our party now. So that is good news. Uh, those mammoths, trust me, they're gonna pay. They are gonna pay. If I encounter them, I'm just gonna probably kill them. So, yeah, let's go and head over uh, back to Dezorus. And I'll meet you where that cave was. Okay, now we're back at the uh, the cave where we got the Aero Prism from, and we fought those Titans. Let's continue. Let's get our Ice Decker and bust through these mountains. Uh, and hopefully we don't run into any more mammoths. This is like friggin' Ice Age. I don't plan on Tylon getting stomped on again. So, yeah. Where are we heading to next? Well, I'm going to check out the uh, morgue. Yes, I know, it sounds grim. But we've got to get an important item there. It will only take a second, honestly. Wow, Canarate is really light. I appreciate that. Why have you come here? Stay out of trouble, hear me? Um, what happens if we use the uh, hat, I wonder? question is can we use the magic hat on him because I did want to try that last time no effect there must be something you can do with it and apparently it's gone out of my inventory well I did say I used it yeah if anyone knows what the magic hats do please tell me because uh, I've never known so yeah we got a oh gosh Yes, there are going to be lots of zombies in here. I mean, I did say I was a morgue. So, third exit, fourth exit. Once we get to the uh, six, that's when we've got to make the right turn. So, after this one, I believe. You know what, let's... For you guys, I want to try the wand. Let's have everyone use it. Because I'm not sitting here waiting to kill, like, friggin' four enemies like this. Uh, well, Lutz didn't use it, but there you go. If you uh, don't remember the Psycho Wand, it guarantees me a safe passage out of battle. So, yeah. Got to take this turn here, and right before you get to the door, you may think it's safe, but if I were to walk forward, I would fall down the, the this trapped hole. And I don't plan on doing that, so... Let's see, um, oh no, it's not items, it's uh, the untrapped spell, I had a bit of a brain fart, but it, no, you've got to get me out to use the untrapped spell, and now we can safely walk across, and let's see what treasure we have, ow, well, we found an arrow and Laconian armor apparently, so that will be something for Tylon. Hopefully that will protect him against getting stomped on by mammoths. So his defense, 119. Not bad, not bad. What happens if we put this on him? The Laconian armor. All right, I think he's got pretty much all the ultimate equipment in this game now. Oh, okay. <laughs> That was a 50 point increase boost. 119 to 169. Jeepers. That's good. He's not going to get killed, hopefully, now. So let's get the heck out of here. And the. Uh, I guess the only other dungeon I'm going to show on this episode uh, is the Corona Tower, because it's quite long. So, where is it? Let's get out the Ice Decker. Or Ice Digger, I think it's called in the original version. And, uh, yeah, there's also another cave. That will take us to a whole other area. 
I really hope we don't run into any, like, real nasty enemies. Okay, a blue slime. I'm so scared of a blue slime. You're gonna try and heal yourself. Well, that's just sad. Yeah, I've got nothing to worry about with those guys whatsoever. Even if I ran into a whole group of them. Oh, snail. Oh, apparently this is actually a fast snail. I didn't, I didn't even realize. All right, let's run. Nice try. Right, this cave right here is where we gotta go. Don't even worry about getting lost. It's literally just like a couple of rooms and then, well, we're there. <laughs> Probably the easiest cave in the game. So, let's see. Let's get out the ice decker. After we're done with this planet, there'll be a lot of stuff to sell. Which is good, because I need uh, money for that diamond armor. So, where's the Corona Tower? I believe you just keep going up here. Here it is. So, yeah, this is going to be quite a long dungeon. And I'm going to be quiet for, well, a minute, so you can hear the music. So, let's do this. Yeah, probably some of my favorite music in the entire game. So now I'm gonna have to consult my map. All right, left, right. And there should be a man in here. Why have you come here? Stay out of trouble, hear me? Pretty sure that's the same thing that other guy said. And Oh my gosh, we're going to run into some of the toughest enemies in the entire, well, entire game, I'd say. So yeah, this first floor is very easy, it's basically one giant uh, square. Alright, at least we can run from those guys. Oh gosh, I'm not, I'm not fighting these guys. The Vulcans, they suck. You didn't hear this from me, but... Lord Lashik fears the crystal held by Damar, the fortune teller. There must be something secret about it. Ah, crystal. Okay, I haven't heard of a crystal before in this game. I mean, we have a, a prism. Is that what you mean? Ah, go away. I fought you once. There you go. I fought you, brethren. And this is the last area. Well, it's not a room, but... Uh, is this trapped? No. Is it? Escape cloth. Uh, I'm pretty sure that will let us escape from any battle if we use it. I'll try it next time we run into a battle anyway. See if it works. Or we can just use the Psycho Wand. Or Quick Dash to get out. So, right... The manticore. Go away. And right here, when you turn right again, you want to use a untrap spell. Because like the uh, the morgue, there's a friggin' pitfall. And I'm sure you guys don't have any plans for, well, falling in a hole. Um, oh, oh shoot. No, that's trapped. Yeah, I paid the price for that. Ugh. I'm gonna have to heal everyone now. Let's just get a couple of you to super heal. Because uh, why not? A little bit faster than um, having to worry about grabbing out my Ryogonins. Okay, and you heal Elisa. There you go. Alright, tip top shape. And next up, once I get past these guys. Next up is going this way. Obviously you guys don't have to get all the chests because a lot of them at this point are pretty uh, useless. But I mean, I'm just doing it because I want to. Ooh, another Ryogunin. Well, I'll take that. Alright, is it this way? 
Uh, wait, what, what way now? I think it's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going the right way. Just had to make sure there. Alright, and keep going this way. And once you get to this intersection, right about at this point, there's also another pitfall. Well, if you're taking my path anyway. So, untrap. There you go, that was close. And this one, yeah, I, I know this one's safe, I think. <laughs> Those two words don't go together. I know and I think. Okay. And I believe we're almost at the third floor. There, there's four floors to this. Alright, you know what? I'm going to try the escape cloth and see, that, uh, see if that works. Alright, anytime. Uh, does it work? Oh, okay. So, yeah. You guys can use an escape cloth. If you want to escape from any of your battles. I didn't actually know that. So, this floor is... A bit easier, there's no pits, thankfully. I don't know if there's a chest, no, there's no chest here. Uh, we're gonna go left, because there is another chest up here. Yeah. It's gonna get a bit more straightforward from this point onwards. Uh, yeah, I trust this chest is alright. <laughs> it's like uh, chump change. 20 Mercedes. Jeez, what is with the encounter rate? Alright, so go right. Oh, okay, there's nothing. I went the wrong way. Well, it's pretty hard to get lost in this floor. Oh, you're gonna block me. Well, you know what I have to say to the people who block me from escaping? Death. I mean, you're already dead. Literally says that in your name. Yeah, sorry pal. Probably not very happy being a zombie. I mean, who would want to be a zombie? Alright, chest here. Uh, I'm just going to use the... Uh, we don't have a lot for untrap. Well, there's only a couple more chests. I think we'll be alright. Ah, well, I didn't need to. Hello, mate. Well, a little bit of a healing item there, I guess. I'm just going to check the... Uh, oh, gosh. Oh. Uh, I'm going to check the end of every hallway. This just goes like like a snake, basically, this floor is. Um, mm, still going to do it. Okay, what's in here then? A useless searchlight. Well, we don't have any use for searchlights anymore. We've got a friggin' magic... Not a magic lamp. A uh, light pendant. Uh, okay. I still don't trust these chests. Okay, well, I'm glad I made that call for this one. Game. You can't do that. You can't just have a white spring out of the chest like that. There we go. Now, is there any more chests? Must be another chest here, right? Otherwise, why would it have this area? Um, let's just open it. Ah. A little bit of extra pocket money. Oh, the encounter rate's pretty high in this dungeon at the moment. Jeepers. At least it's letting me run. Right, I just ran into two battles. And I ran into another one. Let's just kill him. There we go. There's got to be another chest up here, right? Nope. Alright. We must have be finished with them. Oh my gosh. I just got blocked like three times by other manticores before. Which I'll probably edit that out. Because that took friggin' forever to get away from them. Uh, Psycho one. Yeah, one, one's enough. Uh, just go away already. Freaking occupied by lions, this floor is. Alright, yes, I know they're called manticores, but you know, I call them lions. Okay, nothing there. Alright, and there's the final floor. 
Now don't worry about getting lost on this top floor, it's just a straight shot to the, uh, to the prize. Oh, oh my gosh, okay, we've got a new enemy, King Saber. These guys are pretty tough. But, uh, oh, let's see what they do to us. Well, what one of these do. We can't even hit this guy! Okay. This might take a while, folks. Even Alyssa with her lightsaber can't hit this guy. That's crazy. These guys must have, like, the best armor in the game or something. Oh, and I forgot you could they could tie you up. Okay. Well, at least they don't do a lot of damage to us. That's, that's a plus. Not like the friggin' mammoths. Honestly, like, them killing Tylon was so random. Like, Tylon had pretty good defense, I thought. But I guess the game probably wants you to go to the morgue first and get that, uh, Laconian armor for Tylon before you actually do the... Well, the cave in the mountains where you get the prison. Ah, uh, why do you have to have exploding chess game? Now I'm gonna have to heal everyone. Hooray! Another thing, guys. I'm not actually sure this will take, like, 16 parts like I originally thought. I think we're gonna be here for a little bit longer. It might be even 20 parts. But we'll see, like... Oh my gosh, you can run into golems up here. Ow. Okay. Yeah, what was I saying? This might be more like 20 parts. But hey, I mean, I've been enjoying this game. I'm happy to keep going. Alright, you know what? I'm not fighting another one. That took forever. There you go. Psycho wand. Oh. And, come on, you tie up Alyssa. Man, this enemy's smart. You tied up the one person I wanted to use the friggin' wand on. Man, you got, you got a big brain there. Alright. Yeah, the only annoying thing about this final floor is it's kind of long, but at least I won't get lost. I can shut my uh, map book away for this one. Ooh, we haven't fought these guys, a cyborg mage. Thank God it's not the other version. <laughs> yeah, the other version of these guys are only like in the top three most annoying and toughest enemies in the game. But uh, like their cousins, they do know a spell, but it's only fire. The other versions, they know thunder. If I run into them, I might even, I might not even fight them, honestly. I don't know. Maybe I'll show why you shouldn't fight them. I really hope I don't encounter them. Alright. Ooh, nice shot, Lutz. They give a lot of uh, experience in Masita, huh? Pretty good enemies. Alright, we must be getting close to the end of this. Surely. I'm positive. Alright, well, looks like we might have killed all the rest of the enemies on this floor. Nope, I spoke too soon, of course. Let's just kill another one, that was fun. I like how they... I think that's a nice touch, um, how they attack normally with their wand, but when they use fire, they use the other hand to do it, the empty hand. I just think that's a nice touch. Unfortunately, we haven't seen them use fire yet. Just really like the detail is what I'm trying to say, like, in all the enemies and environments in this game. Even the dungeons, while like, I mean, they all have the same brick walls, but... You know, that's still impressive for 1987 standards. Oh, uh, you're gonna block me. You're gonna do your fire? Alright. Not interested in using fire on me, okay. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Alright. Must be right around the corner here, surely. There it is, that must be it. Go through here. Oh, oh, false alarm. Apparently there's a bit more. This must be it. Surely it's locked. 
Here we go. Do you see this flame in my hand? This is the Eclipse Torch. This is the sacred fire of the Centennial Eclipse. It's beautiful, holy, and indeed very valuable. I might be willing to part with some of it for, say, a dragon's crystal. Ah, well, if you guys remember, we slayed that blue dragon in the cave on that, well, on the desert planet. Yes, the carbuncle eye, that's right. Let's trade it. Excellent. Here you are, then. And now we have a torch. It's not a permanent torch, it only has one use, but not a torch. So let's get the heck out of here. As much as I love the music in this dungeon. And when you, when you hear that music, you know you're approaching, like, some of the last and, well, hardest dungeons in the game. But anyway, what else is there to explore on Dezorus? Will we get back to Palmer and uh, slay Medusa? Well, you'll just have to find out in the next episode. Until then, this has been part 12, and this has been Infinite Order. And, well, have a good day.